Ow. <coughs> I'm a mess this morning. Good morning, everybody, or good evening. Um, today, we're going to be playing FTL. Snakes on a plane, now snakes in space. What is this? <laughs> yeah, we're snakes in space today. Uh, hold on. I need to get everything. I need to get everything set up. I need to turn on the closed captions. Okay, there we go. We're all set and ready to go now. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Okay, hold on. I'm like, all right. First of all, new game. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Now, I'm ready, I swear. <laughs> yeah, so today we're gonna be playing FTL. Um, I love this game. <clears throat> it's, a, it's a good one, and it's nice and chill. Um, okay, first order of business with this game. What should we name our ship? Uh, Kingdom Hearts reference? The High Wind, I think that's what it is. Yep. <clears throat> there we go. Seem, seems good to me. <clears throat> Uh, ship list? Oh, I haven't unlocked anything. Okay. Uh, I don't kind of, uh, I don't want to, like, name the crew or anything like that. And normal seems good. I feel like we're gonna regret choosing normal, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> the data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before pursuing the rebel fleet can catch up. Rebel fleet, blah blah blah, blah continue. Alright. Everything's looking good. Our ship looks fine. Nothing can go wrong in, in our journey. So <laughs> just gonna jump. Also, Kyria, it's good to see you again. Okay, already we've encountered a ship. An especially well-armed pirate ship approaches you. Hand over one of your crew members and the rest of you can go free unarmed. Absolutely not. It's time to fight. I totally remember how to, like, fight in this game. We have to go after their shields, I think? <clears throat> Yeah, that's what we have to do. We have to, like, <clears throat> attack their shields, and, oh, right, I only have so many missiles. Uh, I remember running into that problem last time. Oh, they, oh, okay, the weapons, the weapon system is on fire. <laughs> okay, you, you have to go over here. Uh, please stop trying to fight the fire. Go, go heal yourself. I refuse to get taken down by, like, this half-baked pirate ship. Okay, the power is coming back online. That's good. Get, get back in weapons. We need help over here. <clears throat> okay, we have enough for a missile. Which is perfect, because we need one of those because their shield came back. <clears throat> Take one. Oh. Uh, I always hate this option. I couldn't play this was too hard, but good luck. Might get luckier than Jump King. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. I don't think anything could be quite as bad as Jump King, so... Uh, oh, okay, so no more fighting. Let me... Take care of this fire. Okay. Yeah, I just open up all of the, all of the doors. And... 
the o lack of oxygen will take care of the fire for me, and there will be no consequences to this. None whatsoever. <clears throat> okay. That's amazing. The last time that I um, played this and did that, um, I accidentally suffocated my crew because I forgot to uh, close the doors. You need to heal. Go to the med bay. Get healed up. Gotta make sure that everything is like perfect before we jump. Because the minute we jump, all hell is gonna break loose. <clears throat> Is there like a fast forward button or something? I kind of don't want to uh, sit here and wait for the oxygen to come back in shields. <clears throat> but... Oh, it's fine. It looks fine. Like, he's just working away in there. The lack of oxygen doesn't seem to be bothering him. So we're going to jump. Oh, wait, we have a new crew member, don't we? VV Mord. Okay, where, where are we putting him? Let's put him in shields. That seems like a good place. Alright. Jump. And the exit is all the way over here. So jumping over there seems like a good idea. <clears throat> a ship with conspicuous pirate markings is orbiting a nearby moon, broadcasting a simple message claiming to have equipment available for sale. Uh, conspicuous pirate markings? <laughs> uh, okay, obviously this is some kind of trap, right? Obviously, but we're gonna hail the ship anyway. Uh, the ship responds, yes, we have an extensive stock. Come aboard and see our wares. We're just, nothing bad can happen here. We're gonna dock with the ship. <clears throat> A human in, exquisite, in, an, in an exquisite suit meets you on board. Welcome to my ship. We specialize in drones of all kinds. Can I interest- He's- he was- he was the real deal! He was the real deal! But I couldn't afford anything. I'm um, sorry to hear that. Pleasant journeys. Once back to the helm, a series of explosions rock your ship. The pirate ship- <laughs> Holy shit, it's a talking snake. <laughs> yeah, the, the whole talking snake thing freaked them out. <clears throat> Once back to the helm, a series of explosions rock your ship. The pirate ship has powered its weapons. You receive a message. You shouldn't waste people's time, Captain. All of your wares were so expensive. I absolutely would have bought something. If they were not ridiculously priced. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have to, like, fight. I forgot. <laughs> okay. Did the ship have, like, no shields? What the heck am I- what? Okay. Alright, you win. Here's some equipment from our stores. Leave us alone. Fine, I'll accept it. The whole thing was a waste of time and resources, but I will accept the offer. I'm gonna have the captain go in there and fix the- Oh, there's no oxygen in here. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oh no, he died! <laughs> oh no! Okay, wait, 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 move, 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 move. Okay. Uh, go to Medbay. First things first, go to Medbay, and you fix the doors. Why is there no oxygen in this room specifically? Oh, it's because of the cracks on the floors. I forget. Okay. Well, we're back down to three crew members. Rip. Uh, I can't even remember their name. <laughs> uh, but, um... They will not, uh, be forgotten. Uh, they might be- I take that back. They might be forgotten a little bit, but you know, that's the name of the game, um, when you're out in space. Uh, someone needs to be in the engine room. So we're gonna move... What's their name? Mara? Into the engine room. <clears throat> okay, I think we're ready. 
weren't there always three members? <laughs> exactly. I don't. E I don't. I don't even remember a fourth one. <laughs> There's one at all. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Yep. 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 Always were three. <clears throat> uh, okay. The ship is ready to jump. So let's get the heck out of here. Uh, yeah, over here seems like a good idea. Absolutely. You come across a rebel automated scout ship pursuing a civilian ship. Weapons engaged. Aid the civilian ship. You power up your weapons and engage the automated ship. Okay. First, okay, so it's got shields. So we have to attack the shields as always. <clears throat> And it doesn't seem like that drone is like... Oh no, never mind. It absolutely is doing something. <laughs> okay, we just we just keep attacking the shields and nothing else. Like zero distractions from attacking the shields. Oh, okay. The doors are on fire. Oh, oh god. <laughs> the ship breaks apart. You hasten to contact the civilian ship. They respond, it's a good thing you came when you did. We'd be dead now otherwise. I'm a shipwright and I'd like to help you like you helped me. The captain offers to install a piece of equipment on your ship. Absolutely, yes please. More missiles? Shots per charge two, normal damage two. <clears throat> oh, this is significantly better. Uh, but it takes three, so I'm just gonna Damn, I don't I don't think we have enough power Excuse me We don't uh, okay, I'm gonna have to oh no everything's on fire. Oh, no <laughs> I like wasn't I can't open the doors Okay, all right <laughs> Um, all hands on deck. Um, fixing this fire. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Can he go in and fix the fire? No, get out of there, get out of there. I can't lose any more crew members. You go in here. I can't even, like, is it the- oh god. Oh no! <laughs> The fire is spreading and I can't open any of these doors. <laughs> Things are looking grim. Things are looking grim. Okay. Wait, hold on. Uh, okay, how bad is the fire? Okay, it's that bad. <laughs> Um, I feel like I'm just like walking my crewmates into like, like into danger like lemmings. Can I save your current crew positions? Return crew to saved positions. Oh my god, okay. Can he fix this? No. All crew members have died. Your ship will continue to drift for eternity or until looters destroy it. We go again. We go again. <laughs> that was that was rough. Um that was that was brutal. All because we couldn't open the doors. If we could open the doors, then I would have been able to put the fire out like so freaking quickly. <laughs> the music is a little loud in my ears. Let me just turn that down for me real quick. Oh, that's like a thousand times better. Okay. Um <laughs> We go again. Okay, the exit is over there. Ooh, ooh there's a store. <clears throat> you find yourself surrounded by a group of mysterious alien vessels. I hail you and apparently have some valuable technology for sale. Ooh, we don't have any money though. That sucks. And we have <clears throat> we have a little fuel that we could need. Uh, what about missiles? Okay, we bought three extra missiles. Hopefully they serve us well. Uh, oh, I'm going in like the completely wrong direction. 
that I'm supposed to be going. You got it this time? Hell yeah! Hell yeah we do! Um, a rather large fleet of civilian ships are held up at this beacon. It appears to be a rebel checkpoint. Everyone is being inspected for possible ties to the Federation. No one has noticed you yet. Oh, I don't have- uh, I, I don't have any money. Uh, stay quiet and hope they don't notice. Did it work? Did stay quiet actually work? Okay, let's keep moving forward. I can't believe nothing happened. The nearby planet shows signs of habitation and great beauty. A rudimentary automated planetary defense system is looping its message into space. Warning, quarantine level 5 in effect under blah, 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 article. Warning, okay. <clears throat> Damn. That sucks for them, I guess. <laughs> oh, okay. Scanners are showing intelligent life forms on a nearby planet. No match for them can be found in the database. Investigate, investigate, obviously. Uh, you land a small shuttle and an enormous field whose only occupants are small, brightly colored, six-legged, horse-like animals. Could they be what your scans picked up? We are not bringing- what sort of, like, space pirates are we bringing creatures on board to sell them? We will not be doing that today. Try to communicate peacefully. None of your attempts to communicate seem to work. They just stare at you silently. As you prepare to leave, one of the creatures canters forward and forcefully nudges you away from the ship. He seems to want you to follow him. Eventually, they guide you to an old Enki ship's crash site. Inside, you are able to find and re reactivate an Enki. Oh, nice! A new crew member! Hell yeah! <clears throat> uh, this one will, will um, be remembered, I swear. <laughs> Nothing bad will happen to this one. Uh, you're gonna go in shields, good sir. <clears throat> Where you will absolutely survive this voyage. Save current positions. Yeah, this is, this is good. I feel good about this. <clears throat> Let's try and get to the exit. Let's at least attempt. You arrive in a nebula and immediately receive a message from an unknown source. Prepare to be boarded. With the static from the nebula, there's no way to tell where they came from, but you hear shots fired on board the ship. Oh crap, okay, wait, I remember the strat. I remember, I remember the strat for this. Uh, just send everybody in one room and just like have them like freaking cage fight it out. <laughs> Hope putting everyone in one room. Oh, well, he died. Okay. Uh, this isn't looking good. Oh, no. <laughs> this is not looking good at all. <clears throat> okay, it's one person left. They can take him. They can absolutely take him. Oh, man. Okay. We won. We won that fight at great personal cost. Um... At immense personal cost because now we are down two crew members. Uh, rip. Uh, they will forever be remembered. <laughs> oh man, what's what's wrong here? The scanners, the scanners went out. I think. Why can't I see everything? <clears throat> Temporarily disabled by enemy or location. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so we need a captain, and we need somebody in weapons. Uh... <laughs> oh man, we're really like cruising around space with only two people in this ship. You've arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. You receive a message from a small refugee convoy. Hail, we'd like to help you on your mission, but don't have much to offer. If you have extra metal, perhaps we could work on your ship. Excuse me. 
They offer to upgrade your reactor in exchange for some scrap. I don't have enough scrap. I'm gonna have to decline. That sucks. Uh, I have to go out there and like fight more things uh, in order to um, get enough scrap to like start being able to trade. Okay, the ship is fine, I guess. Uh, everything looks to be uh, in order. Next sector. NG controlled civilian sector. Um, nah, let's go with NG controlled. That sounds like a, a more exciting time. You arrived in NG space. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times for these robotic life forms, but they're usually willing to help. That's good because, um, oh, there's a distress beacon. All right, let's go investigate that. <laughs> This is why I've never, like, even gotten close to finishing this game, because anytime something, like, uh, looks dangerous, I would, like, go headfirst into it. <laughs> you arrive at a smoldering Engi research station. It's distress call unanswered, attacked by pirates or mantis, most likely. There may be someone left alive, or else something of value left on board. Well, obviously we have to board the station. We didn't come all the way out here for nothing. Uh, you send an away team to investigate, but there's nothing safe for the acidic stench of burnt engi parts. This place is dead. Oh, well that sucks. All right, let's keep moving. Where's the exit? Down here? Uh, how do we get over there? Okay, I'm gonna go over here and then figure it out from there. You arrive just in time to see an unusually well-armed Engi ship destroying a small pirate craft. A teleporter signal is detected. Intruder on deck. Again? We're not gonna survive another attack. A young mantis in a charred uniform has teleported onto the ship onto the deck. He begs for sanctuary from the Engi and off offers to serve in exchange for your protection. The Engi have already traced the teleporter signal and are offering a deal in exchange for the prisoner. Uh, okay. So this doesn't sound like a good idea, right? Because the last time, um, the last time we fought people, um, we lost two crew members. But I think the gamble is worth it. Because more than anything, we need an extra set of hands on this ship. So we're going to side with the fugitive. He expresses his thanks and prepares to help you fight his pursuer. Okay, first things first. They've only got one shield. They're weak. Uh, they've picked the wrong the wrong fight today. Uh, let's move. Uh, actually, the engines. Oh, he's a little mantis. Oh my god, he's adorable. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Go in oxygen and fix that. Oh, I've got to, like, focus on this fight. Otherwise, we're going to be dead for sure. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Waiting for these to like power up is like so painful. Okay, swap out. You go here and then you take care of that. Oh boy. Okay. All of our systems are down. Like most of our systems are down. <clears throat> but... Oh god, okay. Wait, wait, you go here. Don't die, don't die. God damn it! Ugh. He's super dead. Okay. Uh, this is fine. Rip, he will be missed. Um. <laughs> go to shields. We need the shields, uh, desperately fixed. <clears throat> what we really need is- How is there a fire? There's no oxygen in the ship, and yet there is a fire? What sort of- No! <laughs> The mantis man died. God damn it. Okay, stop working. Go work on, on the oxygen. <clears throat> and we're almost, we're almost there. Like, okay. <sighs> the ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap metal. It didn't, it didn't matter. Oh God. Come on, you can fix the oxygen in time. <gasps> no! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that was rough. That was rough. Okay, we go again. We go again. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. All right. Clearly, clearly, uh, the strat of rushing headfirst into danger is not working. Clearly, we have to build up the ship uh, to handle uh, my recklessness. That's the plan now uh, during this run. Um, collect as many things, uh, weapons, and shields to attach to this ship. Uh, so that way it can withstand my recklessness. Okay, so we have three people now. This is good. Um, but there's a distress beacon right there. There's a distress. I okay, okay, okay. This is the last time. This is the last time. Um, I'm gonna like run straight to a distress beacon before I can upgrade the ship. <clears throat> I swear. <laughs> Uh, you arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find the ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. It must have been illegally mining the belts without proper equipment. Uh, try and dislodge the ship by shooting at the rocks. You fire a few volleys into the rock and it starts to shudder and break apart. Without shields, the pirate ship takes a beating but eventually pulls free. They thank you for your assistance. We've got money for it. The gamble was worth it. The gamble was worth it. <clears throat> okay, from here, the exit's over there. So I guess over here is a good place to go. <clears throat> you detect an automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. <sighs> I can't, I can't refuse a good fight. Okay, we're gonna intervene. <laughs> My strat is already falling apart. It's already falling apart. Okay. The shields. Attack those. Uh, and I can't forget uh, to keep clicking, like, between the weapons and... I wish that there was, like, an auto button. There probably is an auto button for, like, an auto attack thing. And, um, I just don't know it. <clears throat> okay, so the med bay is... Is injured? The med bay isn't working? Let me move... Uh, I should move someone into there. Oh, the ship breaks apart and you quickly salvage what you can. Uh, the outpost hails you after the scout was destroyed. Thanks for the help. We've been harassed non-stop by these scouts. Take this on the house. Uh, it was worth it. You see, like, when... <clears throat> like, sometimes running headfirst into danger really works out. We are wealthy beyond our wildest dreams. I love that like emote, uh, what do you call it? That's a cat, right? I love the emote with the cat and the <laughs> It's so cute. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna move. Now don't go crashing. Well, ferret? Ah, oh, okay, I see, I see. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> It's adorable. <clears throat> um, okay, someone in shields. We don't need someone in shields yet. We need someone in the engines. You got it this time? I hope so. <clears throat> That's the plan anyway. Uh, okay, ship is good. Shields are good. Everything's like powered up and ready to go. We're ready to jump. <clears throat> Ooh, another nebula. There's nothing here save for the vast swirls of gas reflecting rays from a distant sun. I mean, this is kind of cool. Oh, another distress beacon. I, I've gotta, I've gotta. <laughs> I can't not investigate. You locate a nearby human mining colony. 
where an unknown disease has spread fervently. I know how to pronounce words. 100%. They are setting up a quarantine to contain it, but a riot has broken out. Uh, I feel like if we send our crew down there, they're gonna, like, contract something. Uh, let's, let's send our crew and see what Sam is gone. Oh no! <laughs> With the visible threat of your weapons, the infected become subdued enough for you to set up a rudimentary quarantine. However, before you leave, one of your crew presents signs of infection. You have no choice but to leave them on the station in the hopes they discover a cure quickly. You leave before more crew succumb. <sighs> okay, a couple of like scrap pieces and um and like a missile was not worth one of our crew members. <laughs> aggressively not worth one of the crew members but what's done is done uh we will keep moving <clears throat> another rebel checkpoint is monitoring this location a number of civilian ships they will be returned eventually i mean <laughs> i hope so another rebel checkpoint is monitoring this location a number of civilian ships are waiting inspection any of them could be Federation loyalists. The rebels haven't noticed you- Oh, yeah, 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 I remember this one. We have enough money to try and bribe them now! As everyone currently awaiting inspection is human anyway, the rebels let them go. They take your scrap and tell you to hurry along. Some of the civilians pull together their excess scrap to try to repay you, free repay you for your help. Okay. Uh store? Yes, maybe there'll be something at the store to fill the void um, of missing a crew member. <gasps> I can hire crew members! <clears throat> I can hire crew members, okay. Uh, I think Vivi Mord is coming with us. Uh, I feel kind of weird about, um, I mean, I guess we paid him. I hope we paid him and we're not like, <laughs> whatever. I'm just gonna keep going. <clears throat> I guess like we just hired him. You've arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. You recognize this ship as a well-known slave trader. He hails you and offers you laborers for cheap. Do I attack him? I kind of want to attack him. I'm, I'm kind of like ready to fight. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's attack. Okay. <clears throat> First order of business as always is identifying where on their ship the shields are. Oh. Where are we? The engine room. <clears throat> Oh, right, I have to like, actually like, remember to, to do the mechanics of fighting. <clears throat> the slave ship is destroyed, they won't continue their evil trade, but many lives were probably lost in that ship. Well, now I feel bad. <laughs> Let's... Uh... Okay, yeah, just get in there, fix up the shields. Uh, is, okay, they're fixed, the power is good, our hull isn't doing so bad so far. <clears throat> you survived and many were lost in the process, great work. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't feel good, does not feel good. <clears throat> Let's put Vivi Mord in weapons. And... Open ship and full screen. <clears throat> okay, let's jump. Let's get to the exit. Let's get the hell out of here. Next sector. Unchar both uncharted nebulas. Civilian sector. Hostile sector. <laughs> no one can hear them scream in space. You're good. Onward to adventure. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, that is true. Their screams cannot haunt me because sounds cannot travel through space. <laughs> uh, you've entered a nebula-rich sector. You may put a few light years on the fleet, but that's only useful if you make it out the other side. Um, I love the nebulas. Uh, they like look interesting to me. I like the like mechanic of you can't really see five inches in front of your face. <laughs> uh, your spate, your ship emerges quite far away from the beacon. You see a rebel ship waiting nearby, undoubtedly stations to look for you. Can we take the ship? I think that we can. Let's attack it. I feel I feel good about this. Oh, for a minute I was like worried that um I wouldn't be able to find where their shields are. <clears throat> okay, you can move to shields for now. <clears throat> Gotta remember to attack. That part is very important. Oh, there is an auto fire button. The enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL. It's trying to escape. Heck no. Get back here. You cannot leave. <clears throat> that is unacceptable. You have made your point. We are beaten. Take these and leave us to our shame. I'll accept. I'll accept the offer. It's difficult for me to accept because apparently my bloodlust knows no end. But, uh, they gave us stuff, so I guess that's fine. Uh, back to the engine room, because we're not fighting anymore. I don't need anybody in the shields. And, oh, there's a store over here. We're gonna have to... Do we have enough money to make it worthwhile? We might. It might be. Okay. You discover a cluster of Federation refugee ships, taking shelter in the folds of the nebula. I'm sorry, we've got nothing to give you, but we need scrap to keep the engines running. You sense we'll strike a trade. Can I current hall fix? Fix all. Nice. Okay, that was worth it. Okay, what does Ion Blast do? Ion weapons can disable systems without causing hull damage. Is that worth it? For every tip, for every point of ion damage, one power bar is removed from the target screen and is then locked for 5 seconds, preventing repowering. If an iron weapon hits shields, the damage is automatically applied to the shield system. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe it's worth it. Cloaking? Allows you to send your crew members to board enemy vessels. That sounds like fun. Hmm. I think I'm going to buy more missiles. And I'm going to save the rest of my money. <clears throat> Gotta save it for um, trading with people and whatnot, I think. can't see anything through the thick gases surrounding your ship without knowing what is out there. All you can do is wait for your FTL to charge. Ugh, the exit is in such like an awkward place. <clears throat> you spot a rebel ship in the nebula ahead and stay off their radar. Try to engage? Nah, prepare to chase them. <laughs> Uh, you get disoriented in the nebula and lose your bearings completely. It takes some time to get back to the beacon. It's likely the fleet has had time to advance closer to your position. <sighs> I just wasted time. Oh no, they're really like, they're almost there. <laughs> oh no. Oh shit, what the fuck? A rock armored transport nearby looks to have lost its bearings, but when you hail, they grow suspicious. Whatever life form you are, we find you repugnant. Leave, we seek no aid. Leave now. 
<clears throat> they just called us repugnant. That is not worth, like, space fighting. Uh, you know? I'm not gonna arm the weapons over being called repugnant. Um, their ship is cool, though. Uh, <laughs> okay. Over here? Will we get to the exit? Let's go there. Getting closer? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, as soon as you arrive, a small manta ship detaches from a wreck and jumps away. You must have intercepted their salvage operation because you find a weapon ready to be installed. Did we just... we scared them away and took what they left. <laughs> Some of our actions that we can take make it feel like we're no better than space pirates. You arrive to the Long Range Beacon. There are a number of privately owned ship construction platforms in the area. You find one that has a slot open for immediate w immediate work. Uh, they offer to upgrade your piloting subsystem in exchange for some scrap. Are we the bad- Yeah, I'm not even sure. Like, are we the bad guys? Like, I feel like we- <laughs> I feel like we- There's like a possibility that we might be. Uh, you let your team on board, and after a short time, they finish their work. Uh, what did that do? Level 2, auto 5% evasion, thank goodness. <laughs> You're attacking everything that comes your way? I mean, yeah! <laughs> is- is that- is that not, um, what we're supposed to do? <laughs> We are in space, uh, we have guns on our ship, we've got to literally go guns blazing through space. Uh, next sector. Engi control- oh, they're- it looks like the same thing. <clears throat> it all looks exactly the same. <clears throat> you have arrived in Engi space, the mantis have been threatening the Engi core worlds, but you should be able to stock up for your journey. Mm-hmm. Everything's looking good. Let's keep moving. Oh, there's another distress beacon. I literally- I physically can't resist. <clears throat> the distress signal or originates from a small Engi ship under attack by a rebel fighter, but when the rebels see Federation markings, they turn to attack. Okay. Oh, they've got two shields. I... Uh, this is gonna be rough. This is gonna be a- Oh, wait! He's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? There's someone on board! <clears throat> I need to turn auto fire on. Okay. And... Oh, oxygen. I need two people in oxygen because this needs to be fixed as quickly as humanly possible. <laughs> Excuse me. The rebels destroyed. You pick the bones of their ship and wait for the small Angi ship to catch up. <clears throat> the Angi vessel turns out to be very poorly equipped. Barely a runabout, really. They're trying to outrun the rebels and need all the help they can get. Uh, give them 25 scrap. The words they use are need equals fulfilled, but you take it for gratitude. They take the next jump in their jour long journey home. Oh god. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Ugh. I, I came out of that battle significantly worse uh, than the way I went into it. Okay, wait, wait. No, no, no. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. <clears throat> Okay, you go to the med bay. And yeah, you stay there, you heal up, you don't move. <clears throat> and... Okay, good. Everything looks like it's getting fixed. Did it stabilize? It looks like it stabilized. Alright, go in there and help. And then... Did I lock in? The positions for the crew? I don't think I did that this round. <clears throat> Good. 
Okay, so you go to weapons. Oh, they each have like specialties. This is important. I should probably be remembering this. Do, does Grusly do better in weapons than whoever's currently in weapons? Eh, it's about the same. It's fine. Okay. The ship is in the condition that it's in. It's not bad, but it's not good. <clears throat> We're ready. We're ready to jump. Uh, you make contact with an isolated Engi science station who are staying put despite the likelihood of Mantis invasion. They suggest you trial some experimental technology. <gasps> Excuse me. Uh, jump. Oh, another distress beacon. Why not? Why not? You receive a distress call from a nearby Angie ship. Assistance requested. Danger present. Imminent destruction. <clears throat> We've got to respond to the call. You receive another message from the ship. This time... <clears throat> You're doing better than the last runs. Keep up the good work. Thank you! <clears throat> we might actually get to make it somewhere this time. You receive another message from the ship. Mantis on the comm log. Foolish meat sacks, he yells. Sensors indicate the ship is moving in to attack the borders. Teleport from the station. Oh boy. Oh no! Mantis, why? Mantis, why? Oh, I can't fit three people in there. Okay, let me turn auto fire on. And where the hell are these shields? Oh god, okay. Oxygen is the most important thing. You've gotta take care of the oxygen first. Did somebody... Did somebody die? I only have... What happened to my third crew member? Oh, oh god. <clears throat> okay, go to the engine. Uh, oh no. Put out the fire, put out the fire. <clears throat> and, okay, the shields are still online, which is good. Thank goodness for that. And go take care of the shields, because I literally said that they were fine, and now they are no longer fine. <laughs> this is rough. This is rough. It feels like I'm not making a dent in this thing. Okay, go... Take care of the doors and go take care of oxygen. Oh, there's a fire in here! Oh no! There's a whole ass fire in there. Okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. <clears throat> Maybe I shouldn't have uh, fixed the oxygen quite yet. Oh no! One last explosion marks your fate as your ship is torn apart. That is rough, but we go again. Have I unlocked anything yet? No, right? To unlock this Engi ship, you'll need to get to the fifth sector with any layout of the Kestrel. Okay, alright, alright. <clears throat> Okay. Um. <laughs> Part of me wants to name the ship Titanic. You were so close. <laughs> yeah, we we actually like we're getting pretty damn far. Um, like in comparison to um the first few attempts. Uh, I'm like trying really hard not to name this ship the Titanic <laughs> because we're about to set off on a failed voyage okay uh... <clears throat> I'll just keep the name that we have with Lico again uh, we're 
good, we're fine. I was like curious if I could jump two spots at once, but I cannot. <clears throat> Upon greeting your ship, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Hey, True Ferroni, it's good to see you again. We're, uh, <laughs> doing our best to travel through space and remain in one piece. Ugh. I've got like a hair in my mouth, it's gross. Okay. Upon completing your jump, you receive a message from a nearby ship, greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way, reject the offer. When does Snake get emotes? Um, when I make affiliate, then I then I'll be able to get emotes. Uh, I'm really looking looking forward to it. Uh, I don't know when I'll get affiliate though. That's kind of like a, that's like up to fate. It's not necessarily even up to me. <laughs> uh, too bad you'll regret this decision. Continue. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, is there anyone in weapons? There is. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Still hope you do. Um, what do you call- I have no doubt that I'll eventually make affiliate. It's just like a, um, matter of time kind of thing. <clears throat> Okay, we have auto fire on. This is good. You need a better streaming PC first. <laughs> if me making affiliate, like, is based on my ability to get a better streaming PC, I am screwed. <laughs> I might as well pack it in right now. <laughs> Uh, an advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. However, without functioning sensors, it is impossible to tell what is inside. Avoid provoking the ship? It doesn't even look like it has shields. I don't think it's worth it. Especially because, like, we don't know what it is. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings. A nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools, and they have tried to shut down your engines. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational, and you move into attack. Okay, auto fire. This ship is, um, small potatoes. It doesn't have a lot of HP, it's only got one shield. <clears throat> <clears throat> Poor snake and her bad computer skills. <clears throat> if, uh, what do you call it? It's sort of like a, uh, <laughs> like a miracle I've been able to, um, stream it all, not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, with the pirate ship destroyed, your ship system is restored to full functionality. You salvage what you can from the debris. Are you gonna draw your own emote? Um... <laughs> so, it's like really tempting, um, uh, to draw my own emotes. But the thing is, is that I cannot draw. Well... <laughs> my lack of drawing ability, however, uh, will not stop me. Um... If I do decide to draw my own emotes, my goal will be to have the most scuffed looking emotes on all of Twitch. <laughs> if I decide to go that route. Uh, your scans reveal an ore refinery and several factories, all standing still and empty, no life signs detected. Okay, well, at least we didn't get attacked again. Let's go scuffed emotes. <laughs> Yep. 
the distress beacon is coming from a civilian ship. It appears it is being chased by a pirate. Uh, aid the civilian ship. Another, another fight. Easy. <clears throat> Super easy. We're already, like, making it, making a dent in these shields. It's going great. It is no longer going great. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to put the fire out first. That's the first order of business, to put the fire out. And then from there... Uh, oh, I have to keep attacking. I, I almost forgot. Oh no, it's on auto-fire. Thank goodness. Uh, go over here, and we're just gonna let the lack of oxygen take care of the fire. And then... Ooh, the pirate ship breaks apart. You hasten to contact the civilian ship. Oh, the civilian ship wisely made a fast retreat uh while you're distracting well you distracted the hostile ship that's a mood going great not going great yeah <laughs> everything is going fine until very abruptly it is no longer fine <laughs> uh let's sit in here for a minute can I open this? Okay, that's good. Now we just have to sit and wait for the vast expanse of space to solve the fire problem for us. I hope it doesn't destroy the sensors. Uh, okay, no, 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 we're good, we're good. Okay, let's close all this. Damn. Okay. Uh... Can I not charge the weapons all the way? That's weird. Uh, and everybody's healed up. So that's that's good. Uh, Dolan can stay in weapons. <clears throat> and the rest of them can go fix everything else. <sighs> Gotta wait for the oxygen to come back. The parts in this game where like you just sort of have to like wait are like, oof, I don't have the patience. <clears throat> okay, they're coming back online. I can't power it back up again, though. <clears throat> oh my goodness, hurry up and fix it. Okay, good. Oh, I don't have any missiles left after that. Okay, I cannot take any fights. If we don't have missiles, we can't break through their shields. Uh, and that's not good. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll run into a store before the next fight. Uh, your, s <clears throat> your sensors have picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system. No doubt, one of the many fleeing the rebel advance. It doesn't appear to have detected you, or else it is trying to avoid notice. Uh, hail them. Oh shit. As you hail the freighter, 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 whatever. It advances, weapons bristling from its hull. It's a pirate ambush. Well, we're screwed. <laughs> Can I run away? Is running away an option? <laughs> Charging? Okay, I, I have to wait for the FTL to drive to, uh, to charge before I can attempt to run away. <clears throat> oh boy, okay. Oh no. <laughs> This isn't good. This isn't good. Okay, let's open up these doors. There we go. And this door too. <clears throat> uh, can I heal people right now? It's broken. <gasps> How did we survive that? How did we survive that? The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap metal. Okay, everything is broken. 
every single thing is broken, but, uh... And we survived, and everybody lived. Uh, I think this is, um... <laughs> uh, a new record? Usually when things start, like, being on fire, um... It's game over, like, literally. <laughs> Uh, usually things uh, start going extraordinarily, like, abruptly downhill the minute large portions of the ship catch on fire. But damn, not now. We're learning. You've embraced the chaos. A parent freaking Lee! <laughs> like, that was the key. That was the key to uh, surviving. Uh, I just have to keep that in mind, and we'll be fine going forward. Oh man, the integrity of the whole is not looking good. That is, that is not good. Let's get the heck out of here. Next sector, civilian sector. <clears throat> uh, get to the beacon and jump. Oh, a store, thank goodness! Just in time. Okay, repair all of the hull. That was expensive. I need to buy missiles, is what I need to do. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's a, it, it's a, apparent fucking Lee is a saying, I think. I'm pretty sure it's a saying. I'm like 90% sure that apparent fucking Lee is a saying. <laughs> I mean, I'm not the only one who, who has said that. I've heard other people say it too. <laughs> uh, you see a small station fitted with hundreds of repair drones. You receive an automated message. We don't know who you are and we don't care, but this is the right place for some ship repair. Oh, I don't need that. We're fine. Uh, I've wasted all my- well, not wasted. Why is Jesus fucking Christ? Because 789. <laughs> My sense of humor is like so weird and fucking stupid. Um, an unidentified ship is badly damaged and still being assaulted by a space pirate. The victim begins a distress message until the pirate cuts in and offers to split the bounty if you sit tight. Okay, not gonna lie, an FTL jammer sounds wonderful, yeah, but today we're gonna be a hero. <laughs> Hopefully we don't die for it. Uh, can I turn this on? Hell yeah, I can. Okay. So far so good. I can't believe that our shield soaked that up for a change. <clears throat> Oh, did I turn auto fire off? Fine, our previous offer was not generous enough. Let's improve it. You can take your offer and shove it, buddy. Come on. We're already fighting. They put the miss in missile. <laughs> Thank goodness, because uh, I am too broke to uh, f continue to fix our hull. Uh, the pirate explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap. You go to examine the ship that you saved. Upon closer inspection, you realize the ship under attack was a rebel scout. It's too damaged to put up much of a fight. Mm, destroy the ship and salvage it. You scrap the ship of anything useful and leave its crew to hope help arrives. Brutal. Yes. Um, but, um, 
you know, that's what they get for being part of the rebel fleet. Uh, your sensors are picking up a distress call on an encrypted Federation channel. You eventually find a Federation scout being chased by a rebel fighter. Uh, God, I read that and like it literally like just like the words flew through me and I did not retain it. So we're just gonna <laughs> aid the, the, the Federation ship. Any option that involves fighting uh, can't, can't be half bad. Oh shit, I don't have any... I forgot that I only had like two missiles. And already the fires have begun. Oh, I opened the door on the wrong end. Okay, wait. <laughs> wait a second, wait a second. Alright, go in shields, fix up the shields. That's the first order. Oh shit, okay. Open this. Put the fires out in oxygen. And do we need the captain at the captain's ship during a fight? Like, do we really? Fix that. That's important. That's more important than the shields, even. <clears throat> Shit! I can't open this door! Because the door- okay. There we go. And open this door, too. The auto fire is working, right? <laughs> Okay, now we close this, and go in there and fix the oxygen, and close all these doors before the lack of oxygen spreads. Oh shit, oh no. Oh god, okay. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, you patch this hole, and um, oh. Okay, we survived, but at great personal cost. We quickly collect useful resources. Their ship looks to be on the verge of destruction and life signs are fading quickly. Quickly try to rescue the crew. Despite your efforts, the majority do not survive. The sole survivor offers to join your crew and helps you strip the now derelict ship of useful components. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, we've got another mantis. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please. Shit. God, freaking! Okay, close that door. Okay, get healed. We really, really need. <laughs> Welcome aboard the trash bucket. <laughs> if we die again, that's what I'm naming the ship. <laughs> oh God! Oh no, he died. Oh no! Johnson is the sole survivor. Uh, okay, is oxygen fixed though? Oxygen is in fact fixed. Um, <laughs> gotta fix up the sensors and the weapons. Oh no! Oh, this is a. Uh... Damn. But you know what? As long as one of them survives, this is still doable. We can still collect, um, what do you call it? Other crew members? <clears throat> if this mantis dies, I swear. I love the little mantis people. They're like so adorable. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, now I- uh, the sitting and the waiting. I really wish there was like a fast forward button. Okay, and the weapons are the last thing to fix. Gotta close all these doors, just in case something happens. All the doors are closed, good. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> Ship is under new management, yep. And the management is absolutely freaking adorable. And hopefully the management will be better uh, than the previous previous one, because oh boy. Oh, 
Oh, they learn... They learn things. They learn based on what they're doing. That's interesting. I did not know that. Okay, let's heal up and then get in the captain's chair and get the heck out of here before something else happens. Uh, exit over there. <clears throat> A pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact that it is attempting to avoid your ship, you assume that it is a smuggler trying to stay away from beacons. We, we only have one crew member, we have to ignore the ship. It jumps away after a time. Ugh. I should have went backwards to the store and then tried to um, hire somebody. <clears throat> it's too late now. Rock controlled? and rock controlled. Ah, uh, they're both rock controlled. I don't see the difference between the two. The rock people are a powerful and proud race. It is not unheard of to have a peaceful journey through their lands, but don't count on it. Store, thank goodness. Okay, we've got to heal up the ship. We've got to hire somebody. With the local rock settlement too unwilling to trade with other life forms, an opportunistic mantis crew has postponed its piracy activities and set up shop to catch any passing trade. Any people? No? Well, shit. What about on page two? <gasps> okay. Good. And we need to fix all. Ugh, that was necessary but expensive. Alright, what's what's your name? Ke Kez Kin? We're gonna put you in weapons. I think that's the most important thing. For right now, anyway. Gotta close this door. Okay, gotta make sure we're gonna be able to get to the exit from the direction. Kel? Oh boy. <laughs> My reading comprehension skills are like all the way in the toilet. Forget about- no, not even in the toilet, they're already down in the sewer. Kelts? I would have to like, um, find one of those pronunciation websites. Let's. Oh. <laughs> I'm. I'm. Uh, is his name? Okay. Uh, a rock mining vessel is harvesting the mineral rich asteroids in this. Like, Klutz. Ah. Uh, but Klutz. Okay. I see, I see, I see. Uh. And their scouts take your presence to be a transgression battle stations. All right, where are these shields? Gotta turn the missile on and nothing can go wrong here. Absolutely. Only two crew members? Nah, absolutely nothing can go wrong. Well, shit. What do you mean it was- Oh, we're getting hit by asteroids. Oh god, okay, wait, 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 wait. Stop piloting and go fix. The rock ship moves into a defensive position and transmits a white flag signal. They seem willing to buy their lives. Only 15 scrap for their lives? They're kind of lowballing it, aren't they? <laughs> but I'll accept it. Uh... Oh god. Must have a crew member to pilot. We have to get out of here. If we stay in this asteroid field... Ugh. Okay, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Uh... Go fix the oxygen. And... Oh, there's a fire. That's wonderful. Uh... <laughs> Oh, jeez. Okay. Fix these doors. Because I'm about to need them. 
If there's a fire. Shit! We just hired him! We literally just hired him and he's already dead! We should name this ship, like, the Widowmaker or something. Because, like, everybody who, like, aborts this ship inevitably dies. Oh my god, just please heal. Just fix the oxygen. Oh my god. <laughs> this is painful. This is painful. Now we have to sit here and wait and hope that the lack of oxygen doesn't kill Captain Mantis. Is it stabilizing? Is that what it is? Like, uh, the damage from lack of oxygen. God! Frickin' dude! <laughs> no, no reason to feel bad, mispronounce his name. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, he was not long for this world. Oh, anger. Rename. Trash bucket. <laughs> um, start. I mean, just slowly getting there. RNG is brutal. Yeah. The learning curve. The learning curve on this thing is steep. <clears throat> okay. Uh, only one place to go on this map. Soon after arriving in the system, you were hailed by a small cruiser. What good fortune that we happen to run into each other. Nothing personal, but you have some information we need. What what information? What did what are they what are they talking about? Whatever. They are lost and confused in space, and you know what? That's not that's not my problem. <clears throat> I, I need to, like, invest in good shields. I'm tired of, like, all this, like... We have a shield and, like, it doesn't do anything half the time. <clears throat> you have clearly bested us. We merely request our lives. <sighs> You're giving me nine scrap metal pieces for your life. Seems kind of low seems like it might not be worth it. I'll take the offer, but I'm not happy about it. <clears throat> Jump. Ooh, there's a distress beacon. Okay, wait. I've got to make sure that everything's perfect, just in case we're about to run into a fight and it looks good, so we can keep going. You locate a nearby human mining colony where an unknown- Okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I remember the last time that I sent people down there. And I lost one of my crew, so we're ignoring the request. Unfortunately, your mission is too important and you're not willing to risk your crew. You prepare to move on. Uh, is it, um, a tad heartless? I suppose, but... Uh, I'm tired of running through with only like one or two crew members. We have to like, crew members are a precious resource that must, um, be saved. You're held by rebel ship. When the rebellion is complete, you'll see the safer world we provide. Well, you won't, but you get the point. They arm their weapons. Auto fire on. <clears throat> And why don't we send the captain in here? I would love to see you play 60 seconds and 60 parsecs. Let me write that one down. <laughs> Gotta get a piece of paper. The enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL. It's trying to escape. Heck no, you cannot escape. Don't start nothing, there won't be nothing. 
You have made your point. We are beaten. Take these and leave. Absolutely not. You started this fight and I will fucking end it. Okay. So, oh boy. Let me not bump into everything. Okay, so 90. Oh no, it's 60. Oops. <laughs> 60 seconds. And 60 parsecs. Is it like this game? Uh, where it's like space and stuff like that. No, you don't know for a fact that I would fail. Oh. <laughs> I could be really good at it. You don't know. <laughs> I'm guessing it's like this where like the RNG is like really like brutal and stuff. <clears throat> oh boy. Okay. The engine went out. That's not good. We'll have our crew on standby. <clears throat> okay, and then close these doors. And wait for the oxygen to come back. God, is there anything I can do in the meantime? While I'm waiting for the oxygen to come back. Nothing. I'm sending one of them in there. I'm too impatient. Uh, if they get hurt, that's what the med bay is for. <clears throat> there, yeah, just, just throw all three of them in there. The more people working on it, the better. <clears throat> okay, good. Everybody's healed up. We're ready to go. Who was the captain? Am I sending the right person? I am not. Okay, what was he? Where was he? Weapons? Alright, go back to weapons. And go back to piloting the ship. And yeah, okay. So let me lock these in. Save positions. So that way everybody actually gets to like learn a craft. Uh, and I don't keep, like, just throwing random people at stuff. Because that's not efficient. Uh, after a short time, you receive a message. Hello, I hope it's not a bother, but I'm looking for an escort to your nearby system. This region is quite dangerous, and our ship is not well armed. Mm, this seems suspicious. I will accept. Great. Take this bit of fuel as a down payment. We'll be one step behind you, following your jump signatures. Don't want to take any risks now, do we? Added a quest marker to your map. I have a map? Since when do we have a map? <laughs> what? Okay. No risks. Because now uh, we have someone else to consider. Oh, the quest is over here. Okay, no risks. I can do this. For the love of God, I ignored the distress beacon and everything. Ugh. Mercenaries are swarming the galaxy now, knowing that their less than legal services are in demand during this period of unrest. One is waiting at this beacon and hails you. Uh, hire the mercenary to scout the sector. We don't, we don't, we don't need any of those things. <clears throat> You've arrived. You spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refill, refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage you on your ship. You can avoid it. And then we get to the quest marker. God, that was like... Five million years longer than it should have been. The ship you are escorting thanks you. I don't think we could have made it without your help. Let my friends patch up some of your hull and show you their wares. System repair drone? <gasps> you do not have a drone system. You can purchase one from a store. God, 
It's so expensive! It is so expensive! Can I buy it anyway? And... Ugh. I hope that wasn't a waste. But I can invest in the drone control later when I have the money for it. But I'm... Who knows when the next time we're gonna see a repair drone is. We need money, so I'm gonna go the route that looks slightly more dangerous. The Zoltan patrol their borders, but let you pass when you ID as Federation. Let's hope they won't be so courteous to the rebels. <clears throat> Something about the layout of this map is like ever so slightly trippy to me. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. However, without functioning sensors, it is impossible to tell what is inside. The last time that we ran into these, I didn't fight it. And now I kind of want to fight it. Auto fire on. Oh, it doesn't have, it doesn't have shields. That's weird. That's interesting. What is the ship? I hope we get to find out. <clears throat> it doesn't have any shields. It barely has any weapons. Okay. You salvage what you can from the broken ship. The station was either abandoned or stripped clean. It seems to have lain unused for quite some time. You find nothing useful. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, so we can't see inside the ship because the sensors, the nebula, whatever. Everybody's healed. Everything's charged up. We're good to go. Let's get the fuck out of here. I see a distress beacon. I click. I am a very simple woman. The distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire and their repair crew can't approach without being fired on. They're looking for help or to fix or disable it. Promise to help? You consider your options. Simply fire on the defense system from a distance? Does that work? You fire a few volleys from a distance and it is clear the defense system is no match for you for your weapons. However, the station does not seem happy with your solution. You salvage what you can and jump before there is trouble. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> having like a bunch of people be like, can you help us with our technical problem? And then helping with the technical problem by shooting at it does not seem helpful. <laughs> The Sultan are fascinated by other species. If it works, I mean, I suppose so. I suppose if it works, it works. Uh, and haven't set up something of an alien knickknack shop here. Why not take a look? Hmm. I continue to be broke. I think I need to buy some missiles. Do I have anything to sell? Nothing worthwhile. <clears throat> okay. I'm always broke because at the nearest, like, opportunity, I just literally dump all of my scrap metal into, like, repairing the whole of the ship. A rebel ship approaches cautiously, personally, says the captain. I'd have stuck with the Federation, but I'm a soldier, sir, and I'm no use without a war to fight. Raise your shields. You fool. You've picked the wrong fight. <clears throat> See any big rats lately? <laughs> not, not today, anyway. No rats in space. <clears throat> I heard the town criers. <laughs> Skittering around somewhere? Well, you know, uh, if the town crier says there's a rat call, you know, 
seems like you might have more information on the matter. And seems like the only way to get the information out of him is to waterboard him. <laughs> the enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL. It's trying to escape. Fuck no. The ship repeatedly hails you. It looks like they would- No! You started this for no fucking reason. And I will absolutely end it. <clears throat> that being said, I need to like take care of these shields. Shit! <clears throat> He looks suspiciously rat-like. <laughs> uh, the ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap. Oh, this is bad. There's gonna be no oxygen in here. Ah, uh, is that, uh... <laughs> uh, is that, is that the reason? He looks suspiciously rat-like. <laughs> okay. We're good. We're good. Everybody's alive. We made it out of the en that encounter with everybody alive. No, he like did this thing with his hands <laughs> and made a lot of rat-like sounds. <laughs> uh, clearly, um, clearly that makes him suspicious. There can be no other reason, um, for him to be doing that. Uh, unless he was associated with a rat cult. <clears throat> oh, okay, the sensors are fixed. Um, are we good to go? But I knew him from way back in high school, he's a good dude. <laughs> well, uh, that's good. Well then, is not is he not trustworthy then? If, if you knew him from way back. I used to call him all cheesy because he was always <laughs> chasing him through his corners in the school. I see. I see. I see. <laughs> that doesn't sound suspicious at all. Uh, sounds like a sounds like, sounds like a a good person. Sounds like nothing to worry about then. <laughs> <laughs> Nibbled a lot on people's ankles though, kind of a deviant. Well, I mean, what can you do? Some people are just like that. <laughs> uh, you pick up the latest broadcast from a rupturing Sultan fre freighter. The Mantis, they're here, please. You're interrupted by fire off the port bow. Mantis scout? No, but I liked the Mantis people. Are they no better than pirates? I don't have enough, um, let me turn this off. I don't have enough missiles to just be, like, using them willy-nilly in battle like that. <clears throat> oh, I have auto-fire on, what am I doing? I need to focus on the ship. Uh, go help and heal up weapons. <clears throat> And that fires out, so we can close the door now. What ha- oh! Shit! It's like almost like destroyed too. And I can't do anything because weapons is broken. Okay, power them up. The fight's almost over, come on. Get back to shields. Actually, you need to heal. <coughs> Nice. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap. Okay. Hold on. Return crew to saved positions. Okay, for a minute there, I was worried that I had accidentally, like, saved his position to oxygen for some reason. That would have been, um, a questionable, uh, choice. Okay, our hull, not good. Uh, <laughs> the amount of missiles we have, not good. Will that stop me from going into a fight? Probably not. Let me fix these doors first before I go anywhere. Because the last thing that we need is a fire that we can't put out when we jump. 
Okay. Go there, and- oh. I forget that there's like a really- I just have to press that button and everybody goes back to where they're supposed to be. Uh, it's tempting to like stop at the store before going to the exit. Scanners are showing intelligent life forms on a nearby planet. No match for them can be found in the database. Obviously, we have to go investigate. You land a small shuttle in an enormous field whose only occupants are small, brightly colored- Oh, we've, like, done this already. Okay, they didn't give us anything this time, though. Pirate-controlled, mantis-controlled. Remember that if we find mantis, protect them with your life? I agree. <laughs> that is the plan. Uh, that is what must happen. Uh, I'm going into mantis-controlled territory in hopes that I'll be able to pick up a new mantis crewmate. Uh, you've entered a poorly charted area of space that's known to be home to the mantis. Ensure your hull plating is up to scratch and that you've had enough fuel in your tank to make it through. I forgot about the concept of fuel. I completely forgot about that. Ugh, we need a store so badly. Excuse me. You detect and receive an escape pod floating nearby. You can consider returning it to space when you learn it's mantis. Pry it open. A man br Oh, come on! I got so excited that it was gonna be a mantis. But it's just a boring human. A man bursts out of the pod, life pod screaming and clawing his way into a corner, a rare survivor of mantis captivity. Once calm, the survivor offers to join your crew for a time. What, does, what do you mean mantis? What are the mantis doing to people out here? <laughs> what is happening? Come on, I hope they're not like, they're probably doing something wacky, who am I kidding? I just- I just want to like them so bad, I don't want them to, like, be doing anything wrong. <laughs> oh, not this asteroid field shit again. You arrive in an asteroid belt to discover that a rebel automated scout has been stationed to prepare for a fight. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, okay. <clears throat> it's automated, so I don't even have, like, the hope of... Oh crap. Oh wait, I've got a new person. I've got a new person. Go in and help in the engines. Uh, first things first. Make sure- okay, so the engines are good now. Now go and like, help in med bay. And I ran out of missiles. I think the- I, the, the course of action here is to run, I think. Oh wait, maybe not. The shields are gone. Oh crap, okay. <laughs> Just when I thought that the fight would go in our favor, everything like went to shit so fucking fast. No! <laughs> oh. God damn it. We go again. We go again. Ooh, I really thought that that was- that run was gonna be the run. That it was like, everything was going so well. Let me- let me drink some water. This is it. <clears throat> this run right here. <sighs> the trash bucket will make it to Federation space. Okay, we go again. <clears throat> Scans show a remote settlement being blocked by a pirate ship. 
The ship hastily message you, messages you, stay out of this, or you'll be next. Why are you picking fights on people who can't fight back? Fuck that shit. You ask for it, they pull away from the planet and move in to engage. Oh, I gotta turn these on. Forgot to... <laughs> Turn on my weapon systems. <clears throat> Picking fights for no good reason. Okay. We've got a- the captain needs to go to shields to, um, heal them up. Gotta open up this door to take care of the fire. And- oh god. What do you mean we give up? What do you mean? You started shit, and now you're running away? No! Your crimes cannot be forgiven. <clears throat> Go fix oxygen, please. More, way more important than the, uh... Uh... Engine right now. Use the goblin cannon! <laughs> if we fire enough goblins at them, it'll do the job. We're running low on goblins, uh, <laughs> because of it. <laughs> Fire the cannon too many times. Goblins are a precious resource, you know? You've gotta, like, fire the cannon wisely. <laughs> you pick through the remains and contact the settlement. With the pirates gone, you signal the station. We appreciate what you've done, but there will just be another ship looking to profit from our isolation soon enough. Sorry, we can't give you more. <laughs> obviously, obviously that says cabinet, okay? Obviously that says cabinet. <laughs> Whatever. What the fuck ever? <laughs> Making fun of my spelling. Whatever. Oh shit! The entire thing is on fire! Okay, no, no. You need to get out of here. Stand there. Gotta open these doors. Gotta open all the doors. Uh, there we go. Yeah, nothing can go wrong doing this. It completely destroyed the engines. <clears throat> oh god, okay, okay, I gotta close all these. Name a better form of content than watching the range name made up words. <laughs> Here you are in my chat making making fun of me. For my freaking, I, you damn well know, I, the spelling mistakes are made for a reason, and here you are, <laughs> in my chat, giving me a hard time about it. <laughs> no, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, oh my god. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time, it's fine. <laughs> I'm guilting you for the fun of it. about me cross-eyed absolutely not how dare you <laughs> okay we've gotta heal up this one over here and this one i think <clears throat> <Don't guess. laughs> look at my one snake eye look does it look cross-eyed no <laughs> it's like looking to the right and right to the left Repairs, repairs. 
shields. Okay, no one's like really good at anything yet. So it doesn't really matter where I put them. Actually, you go in engines. <clears throat> you can't hide your freakishly malformed eyes from <laughs> forever. <laughs> this is a lie. This is a blatant falsehood. My eyes are fine. My eyes a-okay. <laughs> we can only see in color. <laughs> uh, I don't have enough to like fix. That was expensive. It was needed, but it was expensive. <laughs> what, what, what is this? What is this? What is this blatant bullying that is happening right now? Friends of his cross side fix station. Oh my gosh. You arrive in an asteroid belt. Oh, you're, you are fine. It's fine. <clears throat> you arrive in an asteroid belt to discover that a rebel automated scout has been stationed here prepared for a fight. <laughs> ah, I see. That sounds rough. That sounds rough. Okay, gotta make sure that everything is targeted on the shields in this ship. Uh, I need the sensors, actually. So we're going to- oh no! <laughs> the oxygen went out too. <laughs> shit, 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 shit. Okay, good. Uh, okay, good, the oxygen came back. The shields are way more important than the- No! <laughs> we go again. We go- Actually, I don't think we can go again. It's gonna be 8 o'clock. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I've only got like five more minutes left. I kind of don't want to start another run. Uh, main menu? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Computer, I want to end stream. Let me end the stream, computer. Please, cooperate with me. Okay. <laughs> All right, um, I've got to go. Thank you so much for stopping by, for hanging out. Um, what do you call it? Let me, wait, hold on. Let me see, let me see if there's anyone to raid. Let me see if anyone else is playing this game. Uh, gotta open up a new tab, gotta open up Twitch. <clears throat> Gotta type in the game I'm playing in the Twitch search bar. <laughs> okay. Let me take a look around really quick. takes forever to load things. Oh god, this is like literally taking forever because my computer is like dying. Like I can't. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Not today. Maybe another day. 
Okay, 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 we're gonna, I'm just gonna end stream. <laughs> I tried, maybe another day, it wasn't meant to be today. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for stopping by, for hanging out. I'm gonna be back Tuesday. Today's Saturday, right? Yeah, I'm gonna be back Tuesday. <laughs> Bye.